What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 113 update. This week we got some brand new rugs to show you. We got the Thin Woven Rug and Buffalo Rug that was added, a new woven variant as well. We also have some news about batteries and networks, which just hit the EB, as well as some news about the Ion Backpack next week. Some future content and quality life changes. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 113 brings quality of life improvements and rugs. We get two new rugs for us to craft, the buffalo and woven variants. We also get some quality of life improvements, and they made some adjustments to the apocalypse that happened last week. <laughs> so the Imagine some people will be happy to hear that this week brings some adjustments and balances to our new fuzzy friends. <laughs> This week we get some notable improvements, and that is they fixed several bugs with the stockpile mission type, where missions would get stuck on autocomplete when not intended, and they also added the ability for prospectors to sit with their friends at the same seat or couch as you've seen in our intro. Miss Streamer was sitting there sitting with me, my lovely wife of 10 years. They added the suit slot UI to most inventories and processors so players can access anything slotted in the food, water, and oxygen slots when interacting with devices. Curtains and windows can now both be placed on window frames and can no longer be infinitely stacked. And they fixed a bug where hiding the backpacks and shield would stop working on occasion. No more shields appearing on your back and in your hand. And the reinforced wood tier has been reduced to tier two and is now craftable at the carpentry bench. What the f No, 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 as you can see, we are going to sit down. So basically, multiple cedar couches and stuff like that now actually function as so. And you can sit with your friends. It doesn't look like you're just sitting in the middle of the couch anymore. They also made it wherever you see an inventory, any inventory, like a crafting device. Say, for example, we were on Prometheus. We wanted to make some, you know, smelt some clay up or something like that. Now you can see your canteen and your oxygen here. So that also means, for example, if you go over to your oxide dispenser like this, now you can just take it straight from there instead of having, well, if you have a can of biofuel, that means you can now throw your oxygen tank in there, fill it up, then just grab it right back out. You don't have to actually unequip it. It's really nice. So you get access to your oxygen slot here. This is really great for filling up your O2 tanks and stuff like that. Same thing for water, if you're gonna fill up your water. We also will make it really easy for you to be able to swap cans like this and take your can out, put a new one in. As well as any device that's connected to water, you can just throw your canteen in there and start filling it up like that really easily. So this is a really nice quality of life improvement. I really hated the fact you had to unequip something just to fill it back up again, or just to even access it. So now it's in your inventory. We can also put curtains and shutters in the windows now. So there's some curtains. We'll take this little shutter here and put it in. So now we can have them both. That's pretty neat. Not too bad. And of course the reinforced wood tier is now in the tier two and you can now see it is crafted in tier two with the wax and all that good stuff down here at the bottom. And that's probably where it belongs, I honestly believe. Last week was the bee apocalypse, and they basically said they introduced the wild bees, domestic beehives and their fuzzy inhabitants, bees. And they said that they heard all the feedback that people loved the recipes, but kind of hated the fact that you got stung every time you went into a cave with five different sets of bees. So they made some adjustments to the swarms and how you fight them. Bees no longer have a knockback, which actually a bee knocked me off the side of a cliff once. It was funny. I didn't get it recorded though. And they'll always disperse after you hit them once with a strike. And on top of that, they also gave them a larger collision or collider so that it's easier to hit. Finally, they've adjusted the spawn rate of bees in caves because people were reporting that they had an encounter every single time. And yeah, they were in every single cave. Alrighty, so we found us some bees here in a cave. Looks like, oh, an exotics. So there's two sets of bees in here now. And a cave worm. Take care of that. So we should be able to hit it and just like... Oh, oh, they're there. We should be able to hit it in just one hit. Yeah. Oh. Always just keep you like a knife. Just so you can melee the bees and whatnot. Hey! There's more bees spawned. So 
so that was two bees in this small cave. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, exotic. 47. This week we also got the Buffalo Rug and Thin Weave Rug. The Buffalo Rug is only crafted at the Advanced or Electric Textiles Bench. It requires a Buffalo Vestige, Fur Cured Leather, and Platinum Weave. The Thin Woven Rug is also craftable at the Advanced or Electric Textiles Bench and requires Cured Leather, Platinum Weave, and Fiber. And also they mentioned the sitting down and taking a break. So yeah, you can sit down simultaneously with, you with your friends. So you no longer have to awkwardly stare at your friends from across the room while hogging all the sitting room. So these are the new rugs, the new Buffalo rug, which is a just a basic Buffalo rug. I checked and seen there is no variations for the rug currently. And this is the thin woven rug, which looks like the thick woven rug, only a lot thinner. So that's the thin woven rug. Now the thick variation of the woven rug can still be made in the regular textiles bench with the new buffalo rug and of course the thin woven rug which requires platinum weave has to be made in the electric textiles bench or you can also make it in the advanced textiles bench as well. You'll see it down here. Coming soon, batteries and networks and we get a nice little photo of what batteries are going to look like. So they've reached their point in the development for the batteries and networks where they're seeking feedback from their players so they can iron out any remaining bugs, flaws, inconsistencies, and balance issues. And this will be available on a new Steam branch that can be accessed with the password I will accept there will be bugs. We'll have a link to this in the description down below, as always. They suggest doing a backup if you're going to do this stream and also be aware there are bugs and crashes with this unstable branch. So it is an unstable EB, but don't be afraid to jump in and play with it in its own current state, which we will, we will actually do that. So let's show you how to get to the EB and check out batteries. And we're gonna show you just a sneak peek of what this is. We might do a video on it sometime a little bit later, maybe like a sneak peek into batteries or something like that. But what you need to do is go to Icarus, then you right click it, go to properties and go to betas. And then you'll copy and paste this code right here. I will accept there will be bugs and hit check code. And that'll bring up batteries, resource network and battery testing branch. It'll do a small patch and then you're ready to go. Just make sure you back up your files. Before we check out batteries, just to let everybody know, this is a spoilers for what's coming soon. So this is an early branch and it will be buggy, but did they change how exotics look? It looks like they did. Oh, oh yeah, they sure did. Look at that. That does look different. I don't know, I've been so busy with Pal World and stuff. Maybe I just haven't done exotics. Come with me and you'll see a world of wire management. Holy Christ. Alrighty, let's just hit R here and oh my God. Um, oh my, oh my God. That's a lot. I like what I see though. Oh, and look, something's idle now. We have idle. Actually, most devices have idle that aren't working. Uh, still, sadly, no option to delete bug lines, though. You can't even do this one. Oh, wow, and there's even water, too. If you look at the water line, it shows you where all the water's going to. That's crazy. And that's what the batteries look like right there. And I can't seem to get the advanced ones to place, unfortunately, for some reason. Let me restart. But yeah, that's kind of what the advanced battery looks like there. And I think that's all we'll probably look at for now. We'll probably get a little bit more time to get more developed. That's pretty neat. I like it. And next week, we're getting the Ion Backpack, and it is a tech-focused backpack. And it'll also have a 15% chance to electroshock enemies when you melee in combat. And if you like what they're doing with Icarus, and you want to support their continued development, considering giving them money with their DLCs, for a few dollars, you can support a starving. <laughs> for a few dollars, it would mean a lot to them. Won't you give them money? Won't you buy their DLC bundles and architecture bundle like this? We have the change log after the Becopolips. Becopolips? Becopolips? <laughs> what? I've never heard that word. Be apocalypse is what I meant to say. It's a nice sunny and 75 day in our new constant section where we unlock the buffalo and thin weave rugs. 
in the quality of life and fix section, I now have to share chairs, adding carrying miasmic item to the raw iron wood item crystallized miasma so it damages the player over time. They've mentioned a lot of things already that they've mentioned in the notable improvements section. And the bee is no longer the predator bird, according to the XP. And bee attack damage actually was reduced as well. So they basically nerf bees. In the stuff that's not in the game yet section, working on turrets a little more. And it looks like we're getting a farmhouse stove. Adding stationers, bobbleheads, materials plus some assembled blueprints. Got some more building types here. We're getting curved walls. Talked about curved last week too. Setting up stationers, trophy item recipes, features, and flags. Now the Icarus logos and stuff are pretty nice. Setting up package flags for upcoming DLCs, Creature Comforts, and Homestead DLC. Talk about the water purificator some more. And a DEP silo. Added in a hammerhead slug skin. Reskin. Looks like it may be a slug variant. Adding items set up for bear hide, deluxe leather, rock sandworm, desert armored, explorer, and racing saddles. Also set up for seed, water, and harvesting carts. And the curved roof. Oh, look. And we're getting a tactical shovel and a mange wolf alpha base, carcass, and textures. And that's it for this change log. And thank you so much to the Late Night Crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rodnom, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Fubar, Chris, Sanchez, MTZ Gaming, Gamer Joe, Blaze, Sky Reaper 1, Metal Storm, Xander B, Bob Yop, Alpha Tanker, and Jason Morin, thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew. All the new members, welcome to the Late Night Crew. Hope you enjoy the special membership section on our YouTube channel. And also thank you to our supporters as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, did you know we had a Discord? Yeah, you only mention it like every single time. We have over 350 people in our Discord, so we're an ever-growing community. We also have several dedicated servers for different survival games that are quite popular right now. We'll be getting rid of, unfortunately, our ASA server, but we have Enshrouded. We have an Enshrouded server, Pal World, and Icarus server, dedicated server. If you're interested in that, join our Discord. There's information and rules sections and password sections as well to get to password after agreeing to the rules. And also, it's just kind of a great place for people who like playing games and survival games to hang out. So, the link to that is in the description down below. And that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one and content videos whenever those come out as well. Don't forget that we will not be streaming Icarus this week. We'll be streaming in Shrouded and Pal World this week. Starting next week though, we'll be going back to Friday being Icarus, Saturday being in Shrouded, and Sunday being Pal World. So we'll do that for a while. We'll see how long we could do that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.